In this unit, we're talking about surface area and volume. When we find surface area of a three-dimensional shape, we need to find the area of each of the faces of that shape. To help us figure out the faces, we need to become familiar with the 3D object's net. A net is a two-dimensional pattern of a three-dimensional shape. Basically, we take the three-dimensional shape, in this case, a pentagonal prism, and we flatten the 3D shape into its faces, okay? The edges of the shape now become the places where the faces connect and the vertices disappear. So in our pentagonal prism, prisms have rectangular sides, so we're going to have a rectangle for each edge of our, of our pentagon or each side of our pentagon. And then we're gonna have two bases, a top base and a bottom base. So in our pentagonal prism, we have seven pieces. A rectangle again for each side of our pentagon, so that would be five rectangles, and then a pentagon on the top and bottom of our prism. This is a hexagonal prism. Again, you're gonna have a rectangle for each face of your hexagon. So there would be six rectangles, and then you would have a hexagon on the bottom and a hexagon face on the top. So for a total of eight pieces of your net. Your pyramids are similar. There's another prism. Again, even though it's a triangular prism, our faces are rectangles. So we'll have three rectangles to the two bases. For our pyramids, instead of having rectangle faces, you're going to have triangular ones. So with our hexagonal pyramid, you'll have a triangle for each side of our hexagon. Hexagons have six sides, so six triangles, and then you'll have your hexagonal shape. So that's what your net is. These will help you figure out what your surface area of your shape is because you will be looking to find the area of each part of your net, of each face of your 3D shape spread out on your net. By being able to recognize your net and draw the nets out, It'll help you figure out your surface area, and it will help you put your dimensions of your three-dimensional shape on each of the faces to make computation a little bit easier.